Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is me, Zoltar Speaks. Hope you guys are all doing super well and having a great day. Um, and welcome back to X-Plane 11. Today we are in the Sky Team Delta. Uh, we are going to be flight number 2309 today, Delta Airlines, uh, from Tampa, Kilo Tango Papa Alpha, down to uh, Miami International, which is Kilo Mike India Alpha. Uh, should be about a 45 to 50 minute flight time, should be a lot of fun. Uh, and with that being said, thanks for tuning in today, and we'll go ahead, hop on over into the cockpit, and we will get things rolling here. So, let's do it. Alright, our GPU and our wheel chocks are already selected. We are going to go to our uh, fuel page real quick. There it is, payload. If you'll excuse me, uh, I need to open up Sim Brief real quick here. And then am I, there we go. Generate, yes. Processing. <laughs> okay, and we're good. Yep, we're good. So wait. Alright, so our planned fuel for today is going to be uh, 9.3, so 10.0 10, 10 is fine. Uh, and the payload is going to be 17.4 thousand pounds. A little heavy today, but that's alright. Not too big of a deal. Uh, and like I said, 10,000 pounds of fuel. Alrighty. So we've done that part. Let's go up top here and we'll turn on the ground power and the battery switch. Alright, this guy will be on ground power. Oh, it already is. That's weird. Alright, logo light on. Position light on to steady. Uh, emergency exit lights will be closed here. And then we'll turn on the no smoking fast seatbelt. Why are those on? It's like it saved stuff from my last flight. I don't know why. It's weird. Alright, packs on to auto for now. Uh, we can bring up the panel lights here and some circuit breakers if we'd like. Alright, we're going to pop up top here real quick. And we'll align our IRS by putting the selectors on nav. Good. Both of those are aligned. Verify that that parking brake is set, and it is. And we'll hide the yoke real quick so we can turn on some lights here. Uh, by the way, guys, I am just got a new yoke. I'm not flying with it today, sadly. But um, I do have it, and or I am, or it comes in today, actually. So hopefully the, uh, the next video that we do will be um, with the new yoke. And I think that'll be pretty freaking sweet. So hopefully all goes well. Uh, with the delivery of that dude. Like I said, it's supposed to come in today, but we'll see what happens. Alrighty, and by the way, the Zebo got an update um, with these new nav radios and stuff now. I like them a lot. They are very nice. Alright, FMC. So, let's pop on over here. Uh, and we can set our reference airport as Kilo. Getting there. Tango Papa Alpha. Bam. We are at Shoot, I can't exactly remember the gate. 65 Echo 65. Here we go, Echo 65. We'll grab the IRS position there and throw it in. We'll go to route. So we're here and we're going to Kilo Mike India Alpha, just like that. We are flight number Delta Alpha Lima for Delta Airlines 2309 today. Just like that. We're going to be expecting one runway one niner right for takeoff. We'll hit execute through there. And we'll go to departures. And we are looking for by the way I'm using um, pilot to ATC today here for uh, the air traffic control um, communications. It's friggin' wonderful. It's basically VAT sim without actually talking to real people. You talk to AI, which is really cool, though, that it can pick up your voice and everything and work correctly. So, very neat. All right, so, yep, not in there. That's fine. Not a big deal. Um, it is runway 19 or right, though, so I'm wondering if we can get that put in there. Probably not. I don't think that'll work. I could try it, though. 
one nine or right no no <laughs> it did not work okay well we're gonna go heading 187 and then our first actual waypoint is going to be at mileage then our second waypoint is going to be crowd crowd very short if and uh, or waypoint planning here today uh, I'm not exactly sure why but it, it is so Ennis is next okay and then that is effectively it um, except for our arrival runway but uh, if we look here we're expecting runway 09er so if we put that in there just like that Ennis and then 09er that's it all right so mileage crowd grit Ennis and then niner sweet okay that was very very simple and everything looks like it got put in correctly so I'm good with that all right let us look for the next stuff so EMC is set uh, and we can go back here to the N1 limit page yep and set up all of this so uh, 10.0 for the fuel we're gonna have 2.0 in the reserves get that right there and the cost index is four or five for today uh, according to my little calculator online uh, we are up to what flight level 140 yep 140 just like that bam or zero we'll hit execute there and go to the M1 limit page and we'll go to takeoff we're gonna program flaps 5 for the departure get our v-speeds here trim of 4.75 right there is about close enough and v2 speed is one what one five two yeah because we're a little heavy so it's fine so I'll write one five two I'll rotate it one four three all right very nice should be all good um, okay make sure this dude is on plan and is zoomed in as much as possible. Uh, 10 miles is actually probably fine. Alrighty, um, we're good for that. Set everything. All we need now is to fix uh, Miami. We'll have flat or not flaps, Lord. <laughs> Our radius at five, one at 10, and one at 25 miles out of the airport. Go back to the legs there. Okay, and now if you'll see what that did, it put these green rings around the airport so you know when to drop gear and flaps and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of helpful. Alrighty, everything should be good. Pop on up here real quick. We'll turn on the flight directors. There we are. Set heading of runway. Uh, one nine or right is where we're headed to, so let me pop on over here to Tampa. One nine right is actually a heading of one eight seven. So we will throw one eight seven in for the course, and for our heading, and for the other course as well. All right, and the elevation here is twenty one. So we're looking for a barrow of two two one. one that is synced up on the first officer side alrighty and we're on up to one four thousand today we're gonna end up uh, actually I should probably leave well we'll put it at one four thousand now and when we call it up ATC uh, VNAV came on that's fine uh, when we call up ATC then they will give us um, our instructions there we'll see what's going on okay so, and then we'll set out altimeter and all that stuff after we call it ATIS. Alright, so let's go ahead and click start flight leg and we'll give everybody in the back a welcome aboard.
Alrighty, we're good to go, and we kind of lied right there. We're not fully closed up, but uh, we're about to be. So let me go ahead and close up those doors, and we'll go white medium for the entry area for now. And let us pick up Adis on 133.67. Winter Havens Gilbert weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 4,500 scattered, temperature 27, dew point 9, altimeter 3019. What information was that? Let me tune back. Winter Havens Gilbert weather. Winter like Havens Gilbert. What? That's not even right, is it? Atus. One, two, six, four, five. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, that's fine. At least we've got the right one now. Tampa International Information Romeo. There we go. Seventeen fifty three Zulu winds are two five five at seven knots. Four thousand scattered. Two five thousand broken. Temperature twenty seven. Dew point seventeen. Current altimeter is three zero one eight. Arriving and departing runway one nine or left, one nine or right. Tampa International Information Romeo. Okay, we're good. We got. We have picked up Romeo three zero one eight. We'll go ahead and call up clearance delivery. Uh, what is clearance delivery? One three three point six. One three three point six. There we are. Delta 2309 ready to copy IFR to Miami with information Romeo. Did not capture any of that. <laughs> Delta 2309 ready to copy IFR with information Romeo. Aircraft calling clearance delivery say again with your call sign. All that got was information Romeo. Delta 2309, ready to copy IFR with Information Romeo. Oh, come on. Delta 2309, ready to copy IFR. What is happening? It's not, it's not getting anything I'm saying. Yes. It picked up that. Great. Delta 2309, ready to copy IFR. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to unconnect. We're going to reconnect. Okay, now that we reconnect, we're going to refile our flight plan. Delta 2309, ready to copy IFR. Delta 2309, are you were garbled? 23. Say again. Delta 2309er, ready to copy IFR with information Romeo. Delta 2309. There it is. <laughs> WD7 departure with the crowd transition then is filed expect departure runway 19 right climb to 4000 feet via the departure expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure departure on 132.52 squawk 4306 delta 2309er is cleared to Kilo Mike India Alpha. Fly the Crowd 7 departure with the crowd transition. Then as filed, climb to 4,000 feet by the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 132.52. Squawk 4306. Read back incorrect. <sighs> it wasn't. That's what I said. Delta 2309er altitude is 4,000 feet. Really? Delta 2309er cleared to 4,000 feet. You want to give me ground? Okay, she's not going to give me ground, so 121.35 for ground. 
Wow. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work right, and I swear. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, one, two, one, three, five. There we go. All right, we're cleared up to 4,000 for now. We'll bring this dude on back to 4,000. There we are. Okay, um, 132.52, squawk 4306. 4306, there we are. All right, we're good with that. Um, Delta 2309, ready for pushback. Delta 2309er, ready for engine start. Yep. Delta 2309er, ready to start engines. Delta 2309er, engine start approved. There we go. Okay. Usually you would say ready for push and start, but, you know. Uh, this one's a little funky, I do have to say. So, it is what it is. Alright. Everything's synced up. We're good to go. So, we're going to throw this on. Uh, left aft fuel pump and our yaw damper right there and then we'll go ahead and we'll start the APU we'll wait for that dude to pop on up here and as soon as we get on over to APU power we will push and start uh, while the APU is running let me go to better pushback and we'll go ahead and pre-plan our pushback Actually, that's fine. Found a cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. You got it. Wait for this dude to drop back down to around four. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Whenever it gets here. Okay, and bing. All right, cool, cool. APU is on now. Switch over to the APU gen, and the APU bleed will come on. Uh, packs are going to come off for now. Uh, all four bottom fuel pumps are going to come on. Engine electrics, as well as the window heats, will turn on probe heat later. Not really worried about it. Anti-collision light will come on so that people know we're here. Packs were already off, and go ahead and request our pushback. Alrighty. Here they come. There he is, driving through the terminal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll ignore that part. Okay. And they will go ahead and connect once they verify that all the doors and hatches are closed. Which they are. front wheel to literally come off the ground. It's <laughs> kind of trying to get in there, but uh, so much other stuff in the way. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. I didn't realize that uh, that was a thing. All right. Sorry. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. All right. Cool, cool. GPU is removed now. My bad. All right. We'll start our right engine first. Here we go. Wait. We've got in two. We're gonna wait for 25 there. Uh, verify that that is on. Yep. All looks good to me. 
Alrighty, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go, we'll add in fuel. That'll come on up. Once this clicks off, we'll start the left engine. Looks like a good start on engine number 2. Alrighty, and we'll start the first engine now. Same thing, waiting for 25. There comes the fuel. Alrighty. Cool, cool. Wait for that dude to click off. Alright, they will go to continuous. We'll bring those gens on and we'll go to gen 1 up here. Uh, now that that is there, we'll go isolation valve on auto. Um, APU bleed is going to come off. The APU itself is going to come off. Uh, the packs can come back on. I know that the passengers probably want that. <laughs> okay, everything's looking good. We'll throw on probe heats now. Uh, and then our turn off lights can come on. We'll turn off our taxi lights after we get taxi clearance. Um, and we have anti ice is as needed. It is currently 27 degrees C here, so I don't even think we'll be turning it on during this flight. But you never know, I guess. It is always possible. Always possible. I'm surprised they're having us depart one niner right. Um. It is though, it's one niner right. That's kind of weird. That's in the opposite direction of where we need to go. Uh, but, you know, uh, we'll just vector ourselves over there. So it's not too big of a deal, but kind of interesting. They are about done here. Not quite, but pretty close. They'll fix this up and put us straight, and then we'll have them disconnect. Alright. Operation complete. Go ahead and set the parking brake. You got it. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Given their little spiel back there. Alright, we're going to go for this guy right here and we're going to check everything. So, left, center, down, center, right, center, back, center, left rudder, and right rudder. Alright. So, is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Can signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thanks for the help. Alright, flight controls are free and correct. Lower DU is now blank and we'll wait for that pin. Delta 2309er ready to taxi IFR with information Romeo. Delta 2309er taxi to runway 19 right via taxiways whiskey. Hold short runway 19 right contact tower on 119.05. There's the pin. 119er. 
Taxi to runway 19 right via taxiways Whiskey. Hold short 19 right. Tower on 119.05 Delta 2309. Okay, 119.05. Um, wait, 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 wait. Why did you switch me over there? When, we should stay on ground for now. Stop it. <laughs> My uh, first officer there just kind of switched it up on me. Okay, cool, cool. So we're good to go. We're going to pull off that parking brake. We're going to ease the throttle forward here. Just enough to get us started. And we'll go about 30% or so. We can kick it up just a little bit to get us going. Here we go. Alright, we are on whiskey. No, we're not. We're on Victor. Whiskey is right here. We're about to turn on the whiskey. Here we go. We'll hug this left on the whiskey. I'm going to skip that little part of the taxiway right there, but that's fine. Not too big of a deal. There we go. Alright, flaps are set and pretty much good to go. Sorry, I never turned on my taxi light. Let's bring that wing light on so that they go ahead and secure the cabin. We'll go RTO for auto brakes, which is rejected takeoff mode. Thank you. We'll say ah. Uh, on the ground in Miami. Alright. Everything should be good here. I'm taxiing a little fast, but that's okay. Not too big of a deal. All right, we'll go ahead and we will turn our transponder on TARA. Might as well. Delta 2309er contact tower. Now we can contact. Enjoy your afternoon. Tower on 119.05 Delta 2309er. Alrighty, here we are. We'll go ahead and auto, uh, arm auto throttle there. Delta 2309 er ready at 19 er right, ready for takeoff. Delta 2309 er contact clearance delivery on 133.6. Good day. <laughs> Delta 2309 er requesting takeoff clearance 19 er right. Delta 2309 er winds are 255 at 7 knots, altimeter 3018 cleared for takeoff. Runway 19 right squawk 1200, sorry, I cannot find the requested destination with code 19 or 8. Say request again, please. What? Wait, <laughs> what was, what? What was the altimeter? Three zero one eight. Oh my god. Clear for takeoff runway one nine or right, squawking one two zero zero delta twenty three zero nine. Aircraft calling tower, say again with your call sign. Shut up. I hate that. I hate that so much. They expect you to give a call sign first. Which is kind of fine but I mean in the real world you would say whatever the tower said and then re repeat your call sign at the end of it and it even says it even tells you to say that like in the little grammar help function box thing and yeah I don't know I don't get it all right we'll hit ET since we're taking the runway all right landing lights on taxi lights coming off ready to go here I'm gonna go ahead and punch her up to about 40 ish and we'll go ahead and hit toga all right here we go oh I guess the uh, the map looks a little better now all right here speeds alive cross-checked continuing
Okay. D1, D1, rotate. Rotate. Sorry, we were off of the center line there a little bit. Gear up, please. Give me a notch of flaps out. One more notch out. I know, I'm pushing it. And give me the last notch out. Once we get about 180 or above, he'll shut up. Oh, maybe not. Okay, he finally showed up. Thank God. <laughs> Think. All right, that'll do it for now. We're gonna stay in this climb. Delta 2309er over to departure on 132.32? What? Or 52? 132.52, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Delta 2309er with you, 3500 for 4000. Delta 2309er climb and maintain 9000 feet. Delta 2309er, good afternoon. Squawk 6130. Delta 2309er, slow to 250 knots or less. Am I above it? Oh my god, I am. Holy crap. <laughs> uh. Go. Okay, what? Can you stop with your thousand to go? Oh my god. Okay, squawk what? Delta 2309er squawk 6130. Six one three zero six one Dad comment three zero twenty three zero nine or radar contact. Okay. Delta twenty three zero nine or climb and maintain nine or thousand. Delta twenty three zero nine or radar contact. Thanks. You already gave me that. Here's what it is though. Alright, on up to here to 900,000, we'll turn on the LNAV. Uh, let's see, nope. Okay, we're not getting that for now, that's fine. Is what it is, I guess. Um, we're gonna pop on up. 2,000 feet per minute. Gimme, come on. Gimme a VNAV, please. It hates everything, and I don't know why. The... The daggum autopilot in this plane I don't know it just it hates life and I don't know what's wrong with it but most of the time most of the time you can hit CWS down here and leave it on VNAV for a while and then it'll eventually just let you have autopilot I don't know why doesn't make any sense it just like eventually it'll just let you have it and it's like yeah sure but right now it, Wilco, center on 134.55. Take care, Delta 2309er. What? 134.55, 15,000. One, 134.55. Two, three, four, and then one, three, four point five five. There we are. Delta twenty three zero nine are with you. Eight thousand four hundred for one five thousand. Delta twenty three zero nine are good afternoon. Radar contact. Altimeter three zero one six. Three zero one six. 
local gotcha gotcha holy crap we're almost clocking 300 knots and we are not above 10,000 yet oh my god that is ridiculous all right temp is still 22 degrees C so that's fine my god we are going so freaking fast my I removed the throttle all the way back but because the altitude arm is on or speed arm is on it's I don't know it's killing me here alright we hit uh, 10,000 so we'll do that and then this guy is going to come to strobe okay we're good for now thank god thank god holy crap we're good we're good whoa that is way up there let's drop that a little shall we holy crap okay finally uh, autopilot is working thank god I was very tired of it being funky Ow. didn't I say one four two eight zero what? did we never set that no I don't think we did uh, 250 is going to be our maximum altitude. I should have done that. Sorry. Landing altitude at zero is fine because our field was at uh, niner feet above sea level. So, yeah. Alright, we're almost up to 15,000. Oh, altimeter 3016, delta 2309. Delta 2309. There it is. Climb maintain flight level 210, Delta 2309er. Or not. Delta 2309er up to flight level 210. Delta 2309er radar contact. <laughs> oh my god, it, it doesn't understand. It thinks I'm, I told them that, like, hey, I'm at flight level 210, but no. No, that's what you cleared me up to, Chiefo. Doesn't make a lot of sense sometimes, but it is what it is. Uh, Anti-skid's coming off. Landing gear lever's coming off. We should have done this already, but I kind of forgot about it. All right, a little bit of right turn here. Everything is looking bueno. Not bad. Got a jet beneath us there. You saw their uh, name. All righty. Okay, everything's looking good. Doing my flows, checking everything. What's the uh, what's the temp? Temp is plus one degree C. So yeah, we are gonna need anti ice. Sorry, I thought uh, I thought we were only going up to one four thousand. I don't know why. Um, I had a different flight planned, I believe, earlier. So that was kind of what that was. But it's all good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Um, also, you can just kind of do whatever you want here. Can I have mock though? Like, if I bump this up to 280, can I have mock? No? Play it. Like 300 knots. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I want mock like 0.7. Please. Okay. Should be fine. We've hit 180, so we're going to go to standard altimeter, which is 2992. Fun fact um, frozen yogurt, like with the little foil tops on them, uh, above flight level 180 is known as sky paste. Uh, and there's a reason for that. That's a real thing. Look it up. Um, or I can just tell you. <laughs> but it is a real thing. Um, basically, down on the ground, altimeter and, uh, er, not altimeter, but uh, pressure and everything, you know, is equal and it's fine. So you open those little foil cups and nothing really happens. But uh, above flight level 180, if you open up a one of those foil cups in an airplane like that, uh, the change in pressure messes with each other and your 
can of yogurt will literally explode on the plane and uh, get all over passengers and everything else. It is... It's hilarious. Okay, airspeed is low, so we're gonna bring that down a little bit. Up to flight level 250, Delta 2309er. all good dude it's all good I brought it down to a thousand per minute in the hopes that it would speed up but we are yeah we are full throttle right now Okay, I realize that the airspeed is low, but can you shut up, please? Contact Miami Center on Have a good afternoon. Delta 2309er over to center on 134.75. We'll see ya. 134.75. Delta 2309er Miami Center with you at flight level 216. For two five zero. Delta twenty three zero niner, this is center. Go ahead. Delta twenty three zero niner, with you at flight level two two zero for two five zero. Delta twenty three zero niner, good afternoon. Radar contact. Please, for the love of God, <laughs> stop yelling at me about my airspeed. We're we're not stalling, dude. We're good. Okay. We're going to pick it up here in just a minute. We're almost at cruise altitude. Like, calm down here. If I bump this up to Mach 8, will it, will it try and speed up more? No. My god. can't deal with airspeed low. that airspeed. Jesus Christ, come on. <laughs> okay, thousand ago. We can finally start speeding up. Please stop with the air speed low. I get it, but we haven't really dropped very much. I mean, we're actually still dropping airspeed, which is weird. Okay. Two five zero. There we go. All right. Now we should start speeding up. Okay, we are. Thank God. 
please keep speeding up. Because I really want this guy to shut up. Oh, thank God. Oh, he finally shut up. <laughs> Alright, finally above 200 knots. Wow, we are, we really were going slow. I don't know why that really happened. Maybe I didn't keep a high enough speed in the climb out. I'm not exactly sure. Don't really know, but it's all good. We're going to turn off that seatbelt sign. And we're going to let them know what's going on that we've leveled off. Seating, we recommend you keep your belts fastened. Thank you. We can have people a little closer. Meanwhile, please sit back, relax, enjoy the trip with us. That was it. <laughs> Short, sweet, and to the point. All right. <sighs> okay, finally, climbing in airspeed. Great, 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 great. Finally getting somewhere, maybe. Um, we've got a top of descent in about 60 miles or so. Uh, we'll go ahead and program everything in that we're going to need. Uh, we're actually going to descend on down to 3,000, which is a ways. So we'll go ahead and lower our altitude. Okay. Expect the ILS approach to runway 09, Delta 2309er. Delta 2309er, expect the ILS approach to runway 09. Die and a fire. God, it's so stupid sometimes. Aircraft, say so again with your call sign. Like you didn't do that in the frickin' first place, come on. Delta 2309er, contact Miami Center on 132.45, have a good one. Delta 2309er, over to center on 132.45, we'll see ya. 132.45. Delta 2309er, Miami Center with you at Flight level 250. Oh my god. Delta 2309 are with you at flight level 250. Stupid. It still didn't get it, did it? Nope. Delta 2309 are with you at flight level 250. Delta 2309 are. You at flight level two five zero. Twenty three zero nine or good afternoon. Radar contact. Jesus Christ, it's not that hard. Okay, zero nine four is what we're looking for uh, for the runway, so we'll program that in for now. They'll probably tell us a different heading at some point, but for now we'll go ahead and put in 094. Alright, and we'll grab the localizer. Let's see, localizer 09 KMIA. Alright, what do we got? Here we are, 110.9er. 110.9. Niner. There we go. Flip on over. And then one one zero point nine or zero. Bam. Got it. Good to go for that. Oh, what did I what did I flick? What did I flick? I don't think I flicked anything. Delta twenty three zero nine or and maintain flight level one nine or zero. Down to one nine or zero, Delta twenty three zero nine. 
Delta 2309er, this is Miami Center on 132.45, please repeat your request. Delta 2309er, down to flight level 190. Delta 2309er, this is Miami Center on 132.45, please repeat your request. No. Delta 20 I was just reading back. Cleared for the ILS approach to runway 09, continue to grid then clear to Innes to join the approach. What? Did, what? Alright, we'll let them know we're in a descent. Continue to grit, then cleared to Ennis to join the approach. Delta 2309er. Aircraft calling center, say again with your Jesus call. Christ! Delta 2309er, continue to grit, then cleared to Ennis to join the approach. Delta 2309er, call 10 mile final 09, roger. What? Frequency approved. Report field inside or cancel IFR when on the ground. Wilco, Delta 2309er. Wilco, Delta 2309er. Dear God. Really? Call 10 mile final. Why am I going to call a 10 mile final? Are you not going to hand me over? Really? You're joking, right? At or above 3,000 3, proceed direct grit. Right? Right? What, did it, what, did, what exactly did the man say? Okay, let's go back. Couldn't wait. Yeah, clear for the ILS approach to runway 09. Continue to grit, then clear to Inus. Or Innis. Uh, to join the approach. Okay, so. Continue to grit. So we're going down to 3,000 already? I guess so. All right, where does that put us, though? Way too far out. All right, so we're gonna have to expedite that descent a little bit. We need it just pat or just before grit. Give me like two hundred, maybe. Perfect. Okay. So by the time we get to grit, we will be down to 3,000. Fine with me. Alright, we're going to pull this on back. 220. Or 215, maybe. Yep, we're going to pull... Some spoilers out. We're going way too fast. Well, not quite, but... We will be going way too fast. It's moving our line around a little bit. Oh no, we're fine. about 55 miles out or so maybe a little more it's fine not a big deal all right um, we're past 18,000 again so altimeter change here back over to 3016 because that's what we originally had still coming down in airspeed 264 at the moment We can probably bump this up just a little bit, maybe two three zero. All right. 
All right, localizers are already set. Um, okay, once we're at grit, oh no, Inus, there we are. Once we're at Inus, we'll look, we're looking for zero, nine, or two for the heading. Uh, grit at 3,000, Inus at 1,500. Looking at the ILS for runway niner. Okay, doing all right, doing all right, doing all right, doing all right. All right, we are below 250, which is good because we're going to be coming down through 10,000 here pretty shortly. We're going to go ahead and go auto brakes two. All right, coming down back through 10,000. Sorry, I never turned back on the passenger seatbelt sign. My bad. They should have known. <laughs> uh, why is my uh there? All right, we're in plus eight degrees C outside, so anti ices are coming off. We don't need them anymore. All right, I'm gonna have to bump in here a little bit. There we go. All right. Yeah, I am going to pull back the power a little bit here. It's all good. We're doing fine. Not a big deal. Wind is currently non-existent according to the plane, so... <laughs> Alright, we will look at our RTA. No, uh, we don't even have it yet. Really? Yeah, RTA does not exist. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I I forget. Reference page. Okay. Cool, cool. That's what I wanted. Alright. Full flaps is going to be a landing speed of about 145 knots. So that's what we're going to look for is 145. Fine with me. Alright. Let's ding them. There we go. On down through 10,000. Landing and turnoffs are back on. We are below 250. Some freaking how. Don't exactly know how. We are speeding up a little, though. Even though I've got spoilers out. Pulling that up just a tad so that we can uh, make sure that we're still slowing down a little here. Don't want to be going too fast. Oh, sorry, zero nine or two for from grit to uh, Ennis, but then zero nine or four on in. Okay, so zero nine four is what we need still. Okay. I'm 
going to pop in just a little bit on the radar here. We are almost 25 miles out, as you can see this little line right here that we're about to pass. Those are my green rings that I was uh, putting on the map earlier. So this is our 25, this is our 10, and this is our 5 mile out from the airport. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, and we have a D-cell up here. Once we get to grit. That's we go. Alrighty. Thousand to go already. Very good, very good, very good. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave the speed down here or leave the uh, spoilers out for now. Because I still want to slow down like a lot. We are really going to have to get slowing down here. One niner is probably fine. Oh, let's keep it at 200 for now. Oh, we've got some wind now. Wind is. 1 0 at 112. Or 112 at 10. One well, now it's changing. <laughs> Alright. We're going to put those speed brakes up. Yep. Good to go. Coming up, there's a little bit of wing bounce here. Go ahead and give them prepare for landing. I guess. Delta 2309 are over to tower on 118.3. Delta 2309 are with you 3000. Delta 2309 are this is Miami Tower on 118.3. Please repeat your request. Did it not pick that up? Delta 2309er with you at 3000. Delta 2309er, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 09. Call when established on final. Continue ILS to runway 09. We'll call when established on final. Delta 2309er. Yes, <laughs> runway 09. <laughs> That is not what I said, but you know what? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'm not touching throttle yet. We're pretty good here. Um, like I said, 145 is what we're looking for. I love how the flight attendants were like, hey, we've been cleared to land. No, we have not. <laughs> we have not been cleared to land at all. But you know what? It is what it is. Alrighty. It's all good. Alright, we are close enough now. Uh, I do believe that is our airport right there pretty much field in sight. We're going to go ahead and drop gear. 
we'll go ahead and give ourselves a notch of flaps here. I'll drop the second notch as soon as we make this left hand turn. Which we should be doing, yep, right about now. Alright, we'll get that second notch coming in. Alright, we're going to turn off anti-arm. Disengage that. I will zoom out here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Delta 2309er, 4 mile final, 1 niner, right. No? Delta 2309er on final. Hello? Delta 2309er on final. Really? Delta 2309er established on final. Delta 2309er established on final. Delta Jesus Christ. Oh, 09. Clear to land, 09. Delta 2309. Delta 2309 are clear to land, Z runway 09. Delta 2309 you were garbled. Please say again. I'm not saying it again. You can screw off. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, final note to flaps. Here we go. We're looking for about 145. I'm going to try to speed up here just a tad. 145, we're right on it, pretty much. Slow down here just a little. Wow. Glide slope is way down, guys. Way, way, way down. I don't want to chase it, though. Alright. Oh, come on. Up a little. Up a little, up a little, up a little. Oops, speed up a little. Two hundred is minimum, should be. Landing. Oh, no, come on, a little more. I'm gonna overshoot just a little bit. Oh my god, we bounced it. Knots. 60 knots disengaging reverse thrust. Okay. We made it.
Not quite sure how we made it, but we made it. All right. Alright, we're good for now. Delta 2309 are clear of the, at the active. Ugh. Delta 2309 are clear of active. Delta 2309 are clear of the active. Jesus Christ. Ground on 121.8, Delta 2309er. Aircraft calling tower, say again. Shut up. Delta 2309er requesting taxi to the gate. No. Delta 2309er requesting taxi to the gate. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Requesting taxi to the gate, Delta 2309er. Delta 2309er requesting taxi to the gate. Not taxi to 8. Jesus Christ. Delta 2309er requesting taxi to the gate. Delta 2309er taxi to runway 09. Delta 2309er requesting taxi to gate. No! Delta oh my god! No! Delta 2309er requesting taxi to the gate! To a gate, whatever. Delta 2309er, sorry. No gate available at this airport. What? You're at an international airport! Delta 2309er request taxi to parking. Oh Jesus Christ. Shut up. My god, come on. Delta 2309 request taxi to parking. Delta 2309 or taxi to runway 09. No. I'm not going to taxi to runway 09. I'm going to have you shut up too. I'm going to change frequency so that you'll be quiet. Dear God, you're an international airport and you're telling me that there's no gate available. Really? I find that hard to believe. We high speed taxiing, let's do it. Yeah, all the realism has gone out the window at this point. Uh, pilot to ATC just pisses me off sometimes. It, it doesn't work. Look, I can. That's a friggin' gate, is it not? Dear Lord. No gate available. Yeah, whatever, dude. Excuse me while I taxi to the gate myself. Because at least I know what I'm doing. There it is. Ah, parking brake. You, 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 and you. Alright. Oh, and I forgot to pull my flaps up. Whatever. Who cares? Not a big deal. Doesn't matter. Terminate the flight leg. Here we go. Set the chocks. All of that junk. Why not? Forward entry. Open that up. Set that there. Start service cruise on ground. Okay, I can. Well, oh well. There it is. Plane's shut down. Doesn't matter. Everything else is connected. Alright, let's take a look at that landing. I know it wasn't pretty and it probably didn't look good at all, but we'll, we'll see it anyway.
it might look like our air stairs are down. Uh, no, but it does look like that. <laughs> that door is open. That's kind of funny. Uh. I wasn't too bad. Eh, it wasn't great. I've seen better landings, but overall, oh uh, yeah, it was a little hard. Ah, uh, I'm counting it as a half decent landing. Alrighty then. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one with a new yoke and hopefully. Uh, that means I'll fly better, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens. But anyway, thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.